Hey everyone, so today we got Lorraine 50T on the list and uh, as you can see we got already three stripes which is beautiful but overall the tank didn't fit in my game style at all well maybe it did but the fact that this heavy tank doesn't have uh, armors is big have a lot of weak spots let's count it one two three four yeah both sides five and even size scrape is weak spot so six six weak spots where you can always be penetrated uh especially if a person gonna have armor indicator so they can easily pen even here and that can be penetrated with the standards or even the side armors can be penetrated with the standard shells as well so yeah this tank is quite weird in my opinion it's way worse version than the standard one standard word can work way better because his uh, front plate is already better angled and uh, his turret armors is just a bit uh, better and side scrape i think so it's even better anyway i had more fun by playing the standard one than the premium one but overall that was a battle pass tank and uh, so far in my opinion this tank is the worst battle pass tank but yeah we managed to make it and um, we equipment which one we were using most of the times was hp boost verticals and rammer and that's understandable because you need a hit points to manage to farm because you got 400 alpha damage and you got 11 seconds reload time keep that in mind i have a brother in arms rammer and food on it so 11 seconds that's max out basically 2.1 thousand dpg doesn't sound really great in tier 9 and hit points with the hp boost we got nearly 2000 nearly but also you have option 2 which one i were using was vents uh, for open maps but yes yeah, some of you are gonna say optics could be better and yes i agree optics can be better but vents for me in my opinion was fitting more because his gun handling doesn't fit and then um, you know everything you're gonna increase with vents and your view range will be 450 which is more than enough trust me more than enough anyway that was my equipment yeah moving next uh he have a 264 millimeters penetration with 1067 chill velocity that's not bad but alpha missing alpha for 11 seconds up it's really small alpha and m most of the times 80 percent of the shells probably gonna roll below 400 because for some reason always like that or i just highlighting those low rolls hey i marked this tank without gold but you can boost yourself up to 308 millimeters penetration on abcr rounds so this gun become a really nice laser gun so if i would play like this probably i would say massive tank massive gone awesome gone only gone now I'm saying he have only mobility and all penetration. Nothing else. And then you got high explosions. Keep some of them for paper packs. And you got 515 beautiful alpha for that. Yeah. Uh, what is the bright side of battle pass tanks? They have all always perma large superior kits. Beautiful. A beautiful thing, honestly. That's so damn good, honestly um wish to have in the future for like ability to buy them like perma ones or or, or i don't know or we, i wish there would be a more tanks with perma ones like buying the premium tank and you got something special in it like repair kits you know like this like this that would be nice isn't it you're buying the premium tank you're spending your wallet money and you're getting premium tank plus you're getting a thing where you don't need to spend any more credits on it sounds good in it now uh, okay moving next we were using the small first aid kit and food like always that's it now let's jump on the few modifications and check what we did our heave over there let's go and here we got a uh, few modifications in the first step which one we use between the suspension durability and traveler speed we can increase our mobile mobility and yes we did mobility because he's already fast now i want to have it faster because i don't want to i really don't want to have this tank slow because the all bright side as i mentioned is speed and penetration so let's increase the speed 
because we can go up to 60 kilometers per hour and 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 uh yeah 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 moving next um uh you can reduce the aiming time and uh, reduce the dispersion and as you can see aiming time is quite awful 2.8 second but if you're gonna choose the aiming time your dispersion will become 0.3 which is even i'm using the dispersion reduce and still trust me guys gun is trolling aim time is long i know you can go with none of them would be a really good choice as well but i went with dispersion and it was it was working quite good because i was playing in a close distance you know i'm heavy overall on the papers moving next you got between the stun directions and the view range and as you can see view range is the key because stun directions clickers they don't have time to click spank you and you can if you're gonna go for that you're gonna lose a, a whole more than 20 uh view range which is really big numbers moving next you got a choice between the firepower and mobility uh because he got all the good mobility i went for a power fire firepower to increase my firepower because as i mentioned we got mobility and the last stage you got between the gun reverse speed and um, reverse speed because the gun is already quite good quite uh, gun reverse speed is trust me quite good you will see on the replay which one i'm gonna show you now uh so i choose the reverse speed because in some situations even that situation which one i'm gonna show you now you will see what i'm talking about okay and gun reverse speed is perfect in my opinion anyway let's jump to the battle and let's see what we're gonna have there and um, we're gonna see the highlights of this thing let's go boom lorraine battle starts now let's go boys and girls we got one of the better games i guess uh why i uh, probably because we're playing against tier sevens if, and map overall is not bad as well guys look straight away look at this look at momentum we are heavy yes look at the momentum look at the minimap engine power is quite meh but look at the momentum when you're getting full speed as a heavy he moves like like a star honestly like a rocket we got already 56 59 60 60 kilometers per hour 60 kilometers per hour we're banging this tank that's quite good trust me that's quite good honestly anyway lorraine playing against in seven in the uh, empire's border well as you know probably it's gonna be a good game but keep that in mind that we got 11 seconds real time so we never know how it's gonna end it up or how it's gonna be and he, we got a first book tome 400 alpha showing the teats teats boots boots you know what i'm saying so yeah rich line banging a mix uh i always mixing a mix with lorraine and that's my small mistake but yeah that's lorraine lorraine Lorraine, Lorraine, Lorraine. Even I remarked it already and still didn't get it that it's Lorraine 50D, as you can see. Learn it. Study. But, yeah. As I mentioned before on the review on this tank, uh, he doesn't have great DPM. He doesn't have a great alpha damage. Uh, gun is a little bit trollish. Uh, no armors. Big profile. No E range yeah i know that's a lot of min minuses to be fair that's a lot of minuses and um the only one good thing is um as i mentioned before it's a uh, penetration 264 millimeters penetration on standards it's a massive trust me it's massive but yeah guys in my opinion battle pass so far this is the worst tank in my opinion but yeah it's just my opinion you can you can have your own but for me this is the worst and as you can see in this situation we're farming yes we're farming because we're farming tier poor sevens and they don't do any pressure which means it's uh, we don't need to think about it you know we don't need to be afraid but now imagine if you're playing against their tents imagine here coming those lovely matchmaking um, owners for crown wagons with full gold or, or or any other i'm not even mentioning chieftains or 
and so on. Any tank destroyer with standards can go through this tank through it. Just to saying, yeah, because I have I've been really a lot of times penetrated here, gun mantle, there, quick spot over here, upper plate, lower plate, side armors, because it's angle like a V shape form upper plate. To be fair, this tank have a lot of weak spots. Even I've been side scraping once, really straight side scrape, and I did just a bit small angle. And T55A managed to pen me with standard shells. Three times in a row. I was angry. Trust me, guys. I was angry because you can't even side scrape with this tank. You got literally no side armors. Okay, he bounced that one. So yeah, in my opinion, if you're collecting tanks, yeah, you go for it, maybe, yeah, why not? Uh, but the standard one is just way better version, trust me. Better armors, better gun, better everything, basically. Uh, this one is just, I don't know. I'm just not recommending you guys. Like me, I have all Battle Pass tanks, except the Khalil, Caliber, Caliban, Caliber, no. Well, you know which one I'm talking about. I just don't have that tank and that's it. All the rest I have it. And, uh, because I'm marking all tanks, so I need to get that one as well. But I was a little bit suffering and I was really angry. In the situations when you're getting penetrated. Again and again and again and again. But anyway, we managed to mark it. And um, if I'm not mistaken, 100. Yes, it was 111 games. We managed to mark 111 games. I had on the end maybe last 10 games I had really nice ones but rather than that I was struggling as hell. As you can see against tier 7s this tank can play, can work, then can be good tank yeah. But overall the only, as I said at least he had the momentum and the penetration. So me because I'm marking tanks without gold I didn't need to think about penetration. But if you want to boost always you have option 2 which is 308 millimeters of APC rounds. That's quite good, trust me. But still, you got 11 seconds reload with 400 alpha, which rolls quite often below 400. So, you know, your own choice, guys. But, ammo rocket is. Yeah. That was a game against tier 7s. We are here 5 kills. We got 6,000 damage. It was looking like easy farm, but no often. No often. Still good game. I will take it. And here we got free mark of excellence in 111 games with 5.9 thousand game with plus master on it and high caliber five kills as well playing against tier sevens <laughs> what a player in it we even managed to do 31,000 profit while having no food so we paid 20 grants for this game so imagine if you have food so basically you buy food for 10 grand so blah 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 41,000 profit would be in it that's quite good obviously and 1.4 thousand base experience and i will take it as a great game and how great it was for enemy i don't know but for us it was honestly not bad at all we had only three perks we managed to finish this time with three perks that's impressive and yeah that was it that was lorraine 50t i uh, hope so you enjoy it and um, yeah see you soon on next battle or on next free mark let's go